We are road tripping down to the area just north of Canterbury for a bit of a hunt today. We're going for the weekend. The weather's been it's supposed to like never rain here and it's rained steady for the last two days. So we've got to drive into this block but hopefully we can get across the river in the Hilux. There's a lot of broom and stuff that last time I went there was scraping all down the side of the car but apparently they've sprayed the track. So hopefully we'll be able to get in and not wreck Dad's ute. Um, quite a few animals at this place last time I was there. There's rams, wild rams, and chamos, and deer, and the odd pig running around as well. So we should be able to find something if the weather clears up. Tomorrow's not looking too bad, but today's starting off pretty average. Keep on driving for another hour, and then we'll meet up with the mates, and he can guide the he can guide us in. A lot of you might be thinking, who's that guy on the camera, but it's just me. It's actually November, and in New Zealand, I'm not sure if it's an international thing or what, we do Movember to raise awareness for prostate cancer. And so we grow a mo, and I know what you're thinking. We're probably only a couple of days in, judging by the state of that thing, but no, we're, we're almost halfway through the month, <laughs> and it started off with a little bit of promise and it's just getting blonder and wispier and we're meeting up with a couple of university mates now and uh, they, I'm hoping they won't judge me too much it's a little bit embarrassing no response from that guy no, get him a sack Go on the grass, eh? Like. That's what I told you to do. You were right. You were so right. Yeah, kick it hard. Just keep it. And push it up the deck. Oh. I'll have a kick. <laughs> Roll it down the bank near into the, the pond. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> what? Right. Back underway. So hopefully the uh, without a spare tire we can make it. It's always a worry when you get a flatty that you might get another one, but. Hopefully we'll be right. Looks like a pretty rough track, so. That's the river across it. There's a little bit less danger. See those guys driving down that big slip? That's what, idiot? It's doable, eh? What? It's not warm. <laughs> but, uh, it's all sturdy, it hasn't been cut out with a rock. First river crossing. Dad will be nervous in his pilots. Like he's like his baby. baby. <laughs> it's like his child. It's gold. more gold if you can. Thanks, boy. Thanks, boy. Check this out. This is pretty steep track, eh, in the old Hilux. Yeah, it does like driving as the new Hilux operator. What are they doing? Why have they stopped? Just waiting for us. Guys, a legend, eh? Yeah. Kept a little bit to the left there. Oh, Stinging a bit. Southern men, eh? They're tough as, eh? Guy from the North Island would be. You would be. You're crying in the car. Yeah. You're saying it's cold. So upsetting. Pussy. I feel real sorry for him, but not enough to offer to do it myself. <laughs> oh, he's the expert he anyway. He is a tough ass today. They built him tough down in South Island here. Those feet must be. How many more, more are, there? are there? I think there's one more after this. Yeah, that one goes like this, and we go there and then there. This is the worst one, he reckons. It's quite a fast flowing one, this one. Whoa!
Probably. You got the pancakes? Yep. I'm watching the trip. Watching the other video that they made or already made here. The last time we were here. Yep. How long is it? Three years? Yeah, it'd be three years. Three years ago now. Yeah. Sweetheart. We're just heading out for Sorry. a little evening hunt. Go and see what we can find, a little, a little scout out and hopefully maybe get something. Tom reckons he needs to sight in his gun, so we might be able to sight it in on an animal. But ethical way. It's not ideal weather, but hopefully it's, it's supposed to get better and better. Smoked it. Smoked it. She's down with the heat or whatever it is. Take a mind. Yeah, that dropped like a second spot. Yeah, they got pole axe. Yeah. You were on it. That was such a good shot. So much like dust. What a wild hunting, isn't it? Do you reckon it's the same one? Sorry, guys. It's really difficult. Do you reckon it's the same one? Should have put a jacket down, eh? Yeah, that's right. Here's a look. Set. Ah, you shot it and you pissed it out. <laughs> Got a little bit too excited. Jizz <laughs> <too, right? laughs> <laughs> worthy. Gives new meaning to the word jizz worthy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not coming to this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pissing yourself. You walk over there. Do you want to take the gun? Again? We need some bullets for it. Right so, right. We've got to do longer sheep later on. Which one's big? Oh, that looks big. Shoot one. Sorry, What's big? Shoot one. Man, that one front left. Behind the brown one. Yeah. Move? Yeah. That one. Is that big one on the front? Yeah, yeah that big one right at the front, on the right hand side. Yeah. Turning for you? Safety. No, you put a bullet in. On the skyline now. Yeah, you got it's it. Running backwards. Like this. Hit it again. Yeah. I don't know if it's pretty big. I just wanted to shoot one for the lower, lower one down. That big one up front. Yeah, that big one. Yeah. Missed out on tracking. <laughs> <laughs> one. Oh, it's cold up here. They seen them. Say it. Wait, hang on. Yeah. Sound like a hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a dead shot on mine on the run. <laughs> Oh, that sounded like a hit. Was aiming good that time. Should we go down and have a look what we <laughs> what we tickled up there? They were going to end up on that flat there, I reckon. Do you reckon we got something? Yeah, I we got definitely one. got a couple. I got yeah. You hit one, one at the end. start. I got one at the end. I think I missed a couple. They we end up on that flat, eh? Should we run over there and have another go? Yeah. You got some bullets? So this? I pulled the trigger, I knew I got it. Pretty nice one, that one. You'd take that one, wouldn't you? Not bad, is it? It's short, but yeah, got good curl. Short but a curl, cool, yeah. Got three pretty alright ones. Okay, hump them up on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Good eating the ram. We just shot this ram here, it's quite a nice one. It's a bit of a mangy creature, but, but yeah, it's pretty.
pretty cool. Never shot a ram like this before, so nice trophy to take home. Pretty just, wrapped. Show us the horns from side on. Look at that eye. Yeah, that there. side's better. That's a bit better. It's nice a, little curl on it. It's got its ear all tangled up. Mm, it does. You'll be able to hear us coming. Yeah, that's how you got them. <sighs> They're not yeah. that smart. <laughs> well, it's starting to rain, so let's yeah. cut it up. I'm going to head up. Cut the meat off it. <laughs> Get some nice back steaks off there. <laughs> All right, we're just going down now to get this deer that we shot. It's about 50 meters below us, so we've got to figure out where it is though. There's a bit of a tussock that we're going to look for, and then from there we'll know where it is. Um, just found my young hind I shot. Wasn't too far down from the road, so easy drag up to the track, so that's good. Just gut it now and head up. I thought it was a big one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was big, but it's not that big. Used to shooting little seeker. Oh. Possibly go out of sight over, side side. over that far top one, not this close one, but the far one. Go down it and then just poke our noses around as long as our wind doesn't, our scent doesn't get to them over there. But it's good wind's coming up. Yeah, but my worry is just we spook some sheep, which spooks the seeds. Down on the river flats here, but there's all these wild sheep in between us and them. And if we spook them, this deer might get a bit startled and take off, so we're just trying to figure out a plan to get into about within about 400 meters because it's quite a bit of wind to figure out whether we can get, get a good shot and get them. Good yeah, shot. There's I mean, four there. Yeah, there was four. Is it down? Yeah, yeah. it's a perfect shot. Perfect shoulder shot. Oh, it's just standing with it. I reckon I'll beat you there. another one on him. Is it still there? No, he's got It's a different one, isn't it? He's down for good. That's a different one. It's got his head up. Yeah, it's a different one. It's got his head up. No, it's a different one. Oh, yeah, this one's down. Yeah. That's the other yearling. The yearling hind. Good shit, Tom. Beautiful. Nice shooting. Oh, it's gone. His head's down and everything now. He's, yeah, he's, he's, down. he's called it quits. Nice handy one to the track. So. Is that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll good stuff. Get these cameras away, it's starting to rain. Yeah. 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 Another, yeah. another. What was the other one? Oh, the other one was a hinder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Spike yeah. it. It's mm -hmm. a nice wee young one. Good for the freezer. Good and yeah. No. We're going to pack it out whole. Okay. How many metres was that shot? 210. Uh, yeah. yeah. so just nice and, nice and cosy and warm down here, eh? Yeah, yeah they're yeah, lower down. Yeah. Seeing where they're sitting down low. A lot sheltered down here, so no, good we spot for four of them. No, you're getting it. So, no. Um, boned out that deer and we're just going to carry along this ridge and head back and meet Sam in the truck, so 
another nice spiker for meat, so that's two, two deer today, so we're pretty happy. That's two deer for Just thinking about shooting them, eh? And I was like, you have to carry it if you do. They were, were they bigger than these? Or same yeah, size? one was, you see? One was a wee bit bigger. Uh, not big stag. No. Did you get the sheep? <laughs> yeah. They're quite steep out there. They're doing a full roll down, like, head over legs. You're shooting with the 223. Yeah, it was quite big. Like, it was the third third line down. Heavy Lucky you haven't got a big stag. Heavier than it looks. Baby, that's not even a stag. What's that behind? Oh, yeah, it is a handbag. Oh. Very good. Don't put that on camera. Good <laughs> <Stitch> up. <laughs> Making a real meal of this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, say, Great southern man. Oh, yeah, oh well, that's, that's the end of this little trip. It was pretty, pretty easy hunting considering what we've done before. But I'm definitely not complaining with that. It was cool to get a couple of deer and the odd sheep. So that was in the ram. And uh, yeah, we just got to drive out of here now. Hopefully the river's gone down a bit more and it should be a crazy trip. Pretty cool place. Pretty cool little hut. Loved it. Thanks, Tom. Tell, um, from being hunting we've got a situation where we need to get our meat chilled down so we've deconstructed the all the panels in the fridge a little bit and we've got our venison here and she's going straight in there's a lot of meat there dad not the normal the motel gun. it's not the normal motel type situation but not very good etiquette but What do you reckon? I don't know, we have to put a chair up against the wall. Oh, there we go, it just fell out. It's not really working Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> blood all over the back of the fridge. Oops. I reckon you should take that bottom thing out and you can just slide that one across and then you can just slide them up against each other like that. Like if you just went like... You can put the other one down the side there. Oh! Shh, shh, shh. oh That's good, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what was that cracking noise? Was it the deer's bone, leg breaking or something? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> that was already broken. <laughs> <laughs> it was already late there. Eh? It was, it was. Is it actually? Yeah. I thought we just might have made it a little bit worse. Yeah, we just, it's about midnight. We are in Hamlet Springs, we were staying. And just got woken up to a pretty decent shock. It all started off just wobbling a little bit and then the whole house was going. And I was living down here just after the earthquake with the um, at university and it was probably the worst one I've felt since I've been, since the one that killed people, so hopefully everyone's all right. There's no power here and um, I've just seen it was a Hang six on. point. Just another, just another little aftershock. The last one was, uh, the one that we just had was 6.6 .6 at a magnitude of, I mean at a depth of 16 kilometres, so pretty, um, yeah, must have been doing some damage if it's got no power here. This old building, old wooden building's not the strongest thing of, we were just talking about how it looks a bit shonk, shonkily built and... Um, it's held together quite well, eh? Yeah, it just flexed it's beautifully. Because it's, it's made of, um, it's all tied together with plywood beams, eh? Yeah. If that was a, I reckon a brick building, there'd be big cracks in it. She was going for it. Yeah, there'll be definitely be some damage. Hopefully everyone's all right. I'm gonna okay. probably have to wait till tomorrow to just find out anything. Not gonna be able to really sleep that well, eh? For mm. a bit every on, time those aftershocks go, you'll be like, oh my god, especially dad. Okay. That was sick of the heart going. It was loud. It went for so long that you started to like. Yeah. Thing. Okay, that wasn't getting less, eh? It was just, I was just worse. sitting there and just going with her, like, ooh. <laughs> it's nothing, like, you, if you tried to walk down the stairs, you'd kill yourself trying to get down. Yeah. You just face plant. 
but okay. everyone's all right here. And I can just, didn't hear any like crashing or anything of okay. glass, so. Okay, let's get outside and feel the camera. Oh, quite a good one. Pretty safe in the away car from, here, hopefully. No way from these power lines. I might do the power off, so they're not going. I hope that doesn't delay the road a bit longer. Mm. It will. Whoa. Just had quite a big aftershock. Really scary. <laughs> Just in the supermarket. It's all gone. Hey, wall. Wow. That escalated yeah, quickly. We were just. Wow. He's in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> this is our basket we had to abandon. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Holy moly. Wow, well, since the end of the hunting trip, things have really taken a turn for the worst. There's been a massive earthquake. I think it was officially recorded as like a 7.5. So that's all of State Highway 1 through Kaikoura and up the top of the South Island's just been obliterated. You can't get up that way. Thankfully we were able to get up through the Lewis Pass. Then we drove through flooding early this morning. We were on our way to catch the ferry. Just behind us the road kept getting closed because the water was going over the river and no one else could get through. We just made the ferry, got on the ferry. So it's always a mission of a drive anyway, but we got over there, it wasn't too rough, but halfway across they told us that they've had flooding now up on Wellington. So all the roads were closed on State Highway 1 to get home, so we've lost about five hours sitting in the car, getting pretty stir crazy really, and we we're very sick of this, this ute sitting inside with four of us, but we're, we're on our way now. and. We should get home about 2 or 3, 2 a.m. in the morning, I think. As long as there's no more problems, but they just seem to keep cropping up, cropping up as we go, leaving a trail of destruction behind it. Yeah, it's really taken the polish off this, off this uh, hunting trip. But well, well, we did have a bloody good time while we were before before the damage started. Hopefully, next time it's not quite so bad. Can't make it worse than this, anyway. It's a bloody nightmare. Bloody nightmare. Over and out.